Hi guys, welcome back. This is Erin from Paint Those Piggies and today I have a planner flip through from January through the beginning of March 2017. I almost said 2016, but I wanted to show you guys my planner. I don't know if it's necessarily my style to plan on camera. I don't find that I like that. So I think every once in a while I'll do a flip through. I've also started putting um, spreads on my blog, paintthosepiggies.blogspot.com. So you can see each week kind of up close, but I've blurred out the information so that it's a little bit more privacy. But I wanted to do a quick flip through for the beginning of this year. I finally discovered that the horizontal planner is really the planner for me. It took me a long time it took me a long time. I tried the, I started out with the vertical, then I went to the horizontal, I tried the hourly, I've tried everything. I've tried neutral, I tried colorful. So this is the neutral horizontal Erin Condren planner. You can see my cover right here. I actually really love this floral cover. So I ordered this and I've actually stuck to it. So I'm gonna flip through the months really quickly and just kind of show you my planning style. So I do use the monthly pages. This, um, I'll have to look up where this kit is from. It has foil, which I don't know if I'm on the foil bandwagon yet, but I really liked the animals and just like the springy vibe, even though it's not, warm at all here. It's actually like 19 degrees today and it's March 12th. But I liked this. I like the animals. My husband is a big fan of foxes so I was drawn to this kit. So this is just like a blue, green, gray, just kind of nature-y January um, kit. Again, I'll look at, I'll look up where these kits are from and I'll link them down below for the different Etsy shops. So that is what my January spread looks like first week um, in January I was just I had just gotten this I actually post planned this in my planner but I was just trying out different styles this one's very minimalist and I, for me it's just too minimalistic I liked these little this little home scene and the pinks and the blues but for me this was just too little of stickers. I am a white space planner, but this just wasn't filled out enough for me. So I tried something different for the next week. And this kit is from the Glam Planner. It's got like this princess with blue and pink and just kind of like almost like a Narnia vibe to it with purples and blues and watercolors. And I am obsessed with this this is hands down one of my very favorite weeks I have ever planned. So I just love it. It's wintry, it's frosty, but it's also girly. And I just loved how this came out. And this was one of the very first times that I used glossy stickers and actually liked the way it came out. So there is that week. The next week was my birthday week. Um, on the 20th, I turned 30. I have no comment about, but I used this kit from Planning Roses. It was a mystery kit. I don't know why I decided to use this kit for my birthday. I think I used it and didn't realize it was my birthday, but I like it. It's different for me. I love astronomy, night sky, stuff like that, and so I loved the theme of this, and I just think the blues really make it, like, give it a wintry vibe. I also am a big fan of yellow, and so... I appreciate when kids put in yellow stickers because not a lot of people like yellow, but I love yellow. So I loved the way this came out. I just love everything about it. This week, I kind of went from like trying a lot of white space to less white space. And then this would be like probably the least amount of white space I would do. I really used a ton of stickers from the kit, but I also really like how it turns out. So I use this again. I, I've said before, I really like characters when, um, people have like hand drawn girls with like especially cool hair colors. I really like that. So that is this week. And I really liked how this one turned out, even though it's not my typical kind of colors. This week, I did a Chinese New Year themed week. I took full boxes that I made 
I don't know if they're listed in my shop or not, to be honest, but I just took full boxes that had a Chinese New Year theme and made full boxes, half boxes, and quarter boxes, and I used the rest of just scraps. I usually do my full boxes, well, obviously, on the very far side, and I always do half boxes in the left hand column I kind of split my days into like four different columns so you can see I always have half boxes and usually a smaller box to go along with it then I have my to do's then I kind of have things that happen throughout the day and then my full boxes so it's kind of like a vertical spread but just done horizontally and so I did this Chinese New Year because Chinese New Year was on Saturday. I've lived in Hong Kong. I was there for Chinese New Year and it was a really cool experience so I wanted to celebrate that and I used some really cute Chinese New Year decorative stickers. I'll link where these are from because I'm not exactly sure right now but I liked how this turned out. I don't like gold. I don't like red. I don't like black but it works for Chinese New Year. So then moving on to February, again, I used another foil kit. I'll remember to link everything down below. I thought the colors would be more vibrant in this monthly kit, to be honest. So I don't know if I truly in love with it. I pretty much love anything florals, but I just was expecting something a little bit like deeper and darker, but I like how this turned out. It's kind of got like dark jungle green, purple, and blue, which isn't typical for me, but I liked how it turned out. This week was a fun week planner-wise. I took these beautiful floral, kind of like glittery, wintery-ish full boxes and just planned everything else around it. I basically just took leftover stickers from a ton of different places, including my own shop, and then just use the fall boxes and use everything else around it. Nothing really matches each other. The checklists are from my shop. The um, half boxes are like wedding half boxes from Alyssa Plans. Um, I just totally threw everything together and I think it looks really pretty. I like pink and blues together. I like pastels so I like how this week turned out. This next week I actually hated it when I first put it down. I just didn't like how it looked and then now that I've done it now that the week is finished out I really like how it turned out I did something different with putting washi tape behind the to-do list I haven't done that since but I like how it looks I used this very wintry striped washi tape and went with these animal full boxes again I'll figure out where everything is from it has matching half boxes which I like and I did get these little scalloped boxes from a shop. I'll have to link it down below, but I've been obsessed with these. I know they're just tiny scallop boxes, but I bought them in like 12 different sets of colors because I liked them so much. But this is definitely a week that I planned, hated, and then now that it's done, I love it. Moving on to the middle of February, I made this kit just from scraps. Again, I had these Sum Sum full boxes and I loved them. I didn't have anything else to go with them, so I took some big Tsum Tsum stickers from a sticker book from Michaels. I used glitter half boxes from my shop. I used some stickers from a recollection set from Michaels and just added these little hearts from my shop on top of them to create checklists and I love how this turned out. It was another one that, that I was like, I don't know if this is gonna be good, but I love how it turned out. And I was, I've been like sick for like four and a half weeks now. So I think I was in the middle of like really bad bronchitis, but I love how this turned out. I am like a huge Disney nerd. Then, oh yeah, see, bronchitis, seriously. Like I've never had it and it was, it's, I'm still not over it yet. And this is the end of February, so. This was um, the week of President's Day. I didn't have to work on Monday. We had the day off. I chose to do a donut theme for this week, but I did it differently. I kind of took inspiration from someone I saw on Instagram and did things a little differently. I have my check um, 
to-do lists on the left hand side and I just use these little hearts these mini hearts from my shop to make the checklist I really like how this week turned out it's definitely different especially like to have greens and blues in oh god that ladybug okay it keeps flying around the light like how it turned out it's definitely different for a donut theme but I just kind of pulled in things to make it look like it had a kit when it really did not but I like how it turned out moving in to March which is the week we are in which is the week the month that we are in right now I bought this kit I'll link it down below I like it but I don't love the paper it's kind of like I think it's one of those like vinyl glossy papers and I find it hard to write on so while I love this girl the spa the bathtub like relaxing it says unwind and relax you've got perfume and lotion and stuff like that I love the way it looks I don't think I like the paper I just don't think I can write on it very well so this I obviously have I've still been sick. I didn't fill out like last week in my planner. I usually put the important things in each day, but I kind of slacked on that last week. So this is the last week um, of February, kind of like February into March. This is another glam planner kit. I saw this mystery kit in the mail and was like, I'm using this. I love just like fantasy and I don't know anything pink really so I saw this I don't like red however that's the thing that makes this spread like not 100% amazing to me it's because I don't like red I don't I just don't know why I don't like it though but I love all the pink it's just the red that kind of throws it off for me I like it I finally um ordered from Fox and Pip and you've got this little girl with the cake I love her stickers they're amazing I've started incorpor incorporating those I also ordered from Kina Prince and have been using her stickers and then we move to this week today is currently Sunday when we spring forward which is fantastic <laughs> please note the sarcasm this week I used a mystery kit from Scribble Prince Co. I believe this was her January mystery kit, which was funny because January is my birthday month and then I didn't end up using the birthday mystery kit. When I first opened this kit, I'll be honest, I wasn't like blown away by it. I think it's pretty, but I just wasn't, I don't know, I'm not really a gold person. I thought it was cute, but I wasn't like enthralled with it but after this week has been totally filled out I am obsessed with it I used it on this week because Wednesday the 8th was my husband's birthday I just am obsessed with it I did discontinue my subscriptions to Glam Planner and Scribble Prince Co just because I don't know it was just adding up to be a little bit of money each month and I don't know I just didn't want to get more stickers when I have a ton of stickers right now. I don't think I've ever had as many stickers as I do right now. I just have kit after kit after kit and so I decided to cool it off for a while but I really do love both of their mystery kits and I just am obsessed with the way this week turned out. I just love the vibrant colors and I think it turned out amazing and so just a little sneak peek into this week which will be starting tomorrow um i obviously am obsessed with disney and the new beauty and the beast movie comes out on saint patrick's day so instead of saint patrick's week themed i totally went for a beauty and the beast kit um my schedule for work has changed a bunch so i had to rip out all these half boxes i think i've ripped them out like twice and this is like the third set so i did have ones that matched this kit it's kind of a conglomeration of um, full boxes from one shop and then these full box to-do lists the glossy stickers are from a glam planner beauty and the beast kit I used the washi at the top but it's just like a mishmash of two different kits and then random full box or random half boxes that I pulled in because I've had to rip them up three times now so 
this is what this week looks like. Obviously, we haven't started um, this week yet, but I hope you guys enjoyed this flip through. Like I said before, I don't think planning on camera is really for me, but I'm going to try. But I'm still going to do like hauls, flip throughs, and like I said, I have each spread on my blog for each week. I need to take the pictures for this week and get it up on my blog tomorrow. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love planner flip throughs. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.